Why is the RH factor important? The first circumstance where the RH factor is important to determine is in blood donation and blood transfusion. That makes sense. A person with RH positive factor will not make the RH negative antibodies. Those with RH negative factor will produce the antibodies. Therefore, someone with RH positive blood can receive both RH positive or RH negative transfusions, but those with RH negative can only receive RH negative blood. This is why knowing your blood type is so important. So what is the difference between an RH positive and an RH negative blood? Is there a correlation between RH negative people and certain characteristics? I'm gonna delve into all of that. Do they have an origin that is shrouded in mystery? RH negative. According to the website, themillenniumreport.com, I've put a link to this uh, article below in the description. Nearly 85% of all human beings have RH positive blood, which merely indicates that their red blood cells contain a substance called the RH or the rhesus blood factor. Simply put, their positive blood contains a protein that can be linked to the rhesus monkey. It is acknowledged that blood factors are transmitted with more accuracy than any other human or animal characteristic. It's not generally known from where the negative RH factor derived, although intriguing evidence exists that it arises from genetic experimentation a little over 5,000 years ago. I posted a video about a year ago that is inspired by the three waves of volunteers by Dolores Cannon. She was a scientist and a hypnotic regression specialist. She's done literally thousands of regression sessions with people who have lived multiple past lives here on Earth. Yes, but also on other planets, in other universes and galaxies. This demonstrates that people were born in three large waves or groups here on Earth that were charged with this responsibility of helping the human race and the Earth as well. The point is that many of the three waves of volunteers were found to be RH negative. It would appear that volunteers that are placed into an RH negative human body may actually struggle a little bit less. This to some degree makes sense based on the potential alien origin of the RH negative factor. What do you think? What do you think of that? Second wave volunteers especially have been known to have RH negative blood, light colored eyes, light colored hair, multiple births. They're highly sensitive and highly empathic. These qualities are similar to ones that are shared by many RH negative people. There is an unusual geographic distribution of RH negative in the world as well. The highest concentration of RH negative blood occurs in the Basque people of Northern Spain and Southern France, also in the Eastern or Oriental Jew area. Only 15% of the entire world's population is known to have the RH negative blood factor. While it is known that the RH negative type O is the purest blood known to mankind, it is not known from where the negative factor originates and it is generally theorized by evolutionists. There is an unbroken bloodline from early prototypes, so pre-human to present day human beings. As previously mentioned, RH negative blood indicates no protein connection exists to the rhesus monkey, whereas the RH positive blood does carry this protein linked to the rhesus monkey, hence the RH designation, rhesus. Other earthly primates have this RH factor. Now, if all humans evolved from the same bloodline, all would have the RH positive factor. Obviously, that is not the case. Therefore, there must be some manner of intervention giving rise to this RH negative blood group. So blood type O is the most common of the blood groups as well. When we separate the O types into negative and positive, we find that the O negative which is the universal blood type that can be donated to everyone, it constitutes only 7% of the world's population. Science at this very time is attempting to create a synthetic RH negative O blood type, but without success. For while the protein in the positive blood can be cloned, that a negative blood cannot, which is quite interesting and maybe indicative of an alien origin as well. Something humans have not been exposed to. Another possibility is early genetic experimentation previous advanced human civilizations. If the RH negative factor does not derive from known earthly link, which is seemingly outside of the theorized evolutionary process, from where did it originate then? Genetics generally claims the RH negative factor is a mutation of unknown origin, which apparently happened only a few thousand years ago. So what does the absence of this rhesus monkey factor even mean? Okay, like what is the implication? Have you ever just felt like weird or different? It may actually be due to your DNA. 85% of humans have this 
rhesus monkey gene and 15% do not. Maybe an alien gene instead. We don't know. Now, I myself had an identity crisis. As I always identified as being RH negative. I can check off all the boxes of the physical traits and personality traits, but no, I did a test. I'll show you the result. I am O positive. When I got this result, I felt like I had failed a test or an exam or something. But no, no, humans are all the same. We're, we're all the same. Positive or negative in the RH factor, it doesn't matter. The real truth at the end of the day is that your true nature really is determined by more of a spiritual origin. Where was your soul before it was in this earthly body? But I'm likely biased at <laughs> being RH positive. RH negative people are characterized by having a higher IQ, sensitive vision, lower body temperatures, sensitivity to heat and sunlight, psychic powers, abilities to stop watches and electrical appliances and having extra vertebrae. Interesting. There's also a film that explores the possibility that the RH people were bred as a slave race for labor since 90% of the genetic code is disabled with only 3% left for us to survive. Interestingly, popular sciences attempt to attribute RH negative blood groups to a mutation. A solid alternative case may be extended to the conclusion that RH negative is not a mutation, but possibly the original human blood group. This, however, does not reflect the common educated thought and thus has never been adequately researched. That there was a group of pure humans not directly related to the evolutionary process on Earth is a definite possibility, but it's also super controversial. This reasoning would suggest that the original humans on our planets were not directly related to the apes, but at some point were created or genetically engineered to give such an impression. Perhaps it was never intended that the RH positive become the dominant species. We don't know. That through some yet undetermined epoch, the genetically impure group gradually became the controlling species? It just sounds like a movie. Okay, lastly, here's a list of qualities that many people of the RH negative factor uh, share. Okay, so there's a feeling of not belonging. There's truth seeking, sense of mission in life, empathy and compassion for mankind, an extra rib or vertebrae, higher than average IQ, ESP ability, love of space and science, more sensitive vision and senses, increased uh, psychic and int intuitive abilities, cannot be cloned, lower body temperature, higher blood pressure, some say lower, either extreme, I guess, uh, predominance of green or hazel eyes that change color, red or reddish tint to the hair, increased sensitivity to heat and sunlight, unexplained scars, uh, piercing eyes tend to be healers, empathic abilities, ability to disrupt electrical devices, prone to alien abductions, experience unexplained phenomena, psychic dreams and or abilities. Many, many of those actual qualities have also been attributed to being a volunteer, as I mentioned earlier in the video. The second wave volunteer in particular, okay? Again, the first wave volunteers had the most difficulty in joining um, the humans on Earth. The second wave volunteers had a little more preparation and were equipped with a little more um, of the abilities and skills necessary to do well as a human. And then the third wave volunteers are a whole other wave of people that have a whole different mission. OK, now that's all I want to say about this topic. OK, so somebody had asked me to cover the RH negative, RH positive discrepancy. Okay, so I hope that I did an okay job with that. And you know, please leave any other questions, any other requests, any other topics that you want me to cover. I really, really enjoy falling down these rabbit holes. Okay, I love you all so much. Please have the most wonderful day. Do me a little favor, click that like button, hit the subscribe button, even the bell notification so that you will not miss my next video. Um, please have a wonderful day and be positively happy. Mwah. I love you.